It's Wednesday night and we got four games to talk about in the game. My name is Andreas Sachin, and you're watching the LKHL Update. We begin our journey down south. Sochi hosts Admiral tonight. No scoring in the first, so we pick it up from the second. Just after the halfway mark of the period, Evgeny Skachkov is racing for the puck. He's Jonathan Bloom to it. He turns, he shoots, and he scores. That's a shorty. Skachkov puts Sochi in the lead, 1-0. Minutes later, Artyom Pachindala beats Konstantin Makarov, he shoots, rebound, and Alexander Kuznetsov comes in with a touchdown. Kuznetsov gets his ninth of the season, and it's a tie game, 1-1. 15 seconds later, Admiral strike again, Yegor Yakolov gets it to go on the rebound as well. Yakolov scores his third of the season, and it's 2-1 Admiral now. And with just a few seconds left in the period, Admiral get another one. David Booth sets up Artem Zinchanik in the high slot, and he doesn't miss. Zinchanik scores the second of the year, and Admiral head up to the third frame, leading 3-1. And just to be sure, they score another one late on regulation. David Booth converts on a breakaway, that's his third of the season, and picks up his second point of the night. Booth now has 10 points in 9 KHL games this season. That's gonna do it. Admiral will take this one 4-1 on the road. Head over to Yaroslavl now, where Lokomotiv plays Amor. Ten minutes into the game, the puck slides to Yuli Lubishkin, he beats Vladislav Gavrikov, and he wires it in with a nice clapper. Two former Russian World Juniors combine on this one, and Lokomotiv lead 1-0. No scoring in the second, so we skip ahead to the third, just a couple of minutes into the period, and Amor tied it up. Those Shedans make it a 1-1 hockey game, Slava with the assist, and Vladislav with the goal. Minutes later, Lokov pull ahead again. Ilya Lubishkin is set for a shot at the point. He winds up, fires it on net, and the puck squeaks in past Yuka Metzela. Lubishkin scores his fourth of the season, picks up the second point of the night, and it's 2-1 Loko. Soon after that, Igor Averin makes it 3-1. Averin nets a beauty at his seven-game goalless streak, and that puts it essentially out of reach for Amor. Patrick Antiol scores an empty net late on regulation, as Igor Averin picks up his second assist of the night, and that's game. Locomotive win the third consecutive one. 4 1 Locomotive is your final. This is the headliner of the night in Moscow. Red Army face Ogbars. Stefan Dacosta is back in the lineup tonight for the Red and Blue. He was missing since September 18th. Ironically, his last game was also against Ogbars. After the first, Mitchell Arhipov staples Artem Sergeyev to the boards. That shatters the glass. I don't think anybody would like to be on the receiving end of that head. Wow. Short left of that, Red Army opening up the scoring. Mikhail Yunkov sets up Ivan Telegin for his third of the season. Bill Garipov was helpless on the play as he lost his stick, and the stick actually helped Telegin a lot too. Red Army takes the lead as one nothing. A little later, Mikhail Bardakov makes a rink wide pass to Mikhail Glukov. One timer, gloved by Victor Fast. Ooh, that looked really nice. And it looks even better in slow motion. A little later, Red Army doubles their lead. Jan Mursik, who is the captain tonight in Alexander Radulov's absence, has his ninth of the season from in tight, and Akbar's trail 2-0 already. Just a little bit later, Akbar's get a goal back. Mikhail Varnikov tips the puck in on Oscar Merlo's shot. Varnikov gets his 15th of the season and slices Red Army's lead in half. No scoring up to that, though, and Red Army win their fourth consecutive game. 2-1 is your final on this one. Last game of the night is in Cherub of that, Severstal face Slada. Late in the opening frame, Severstal get on the board. Sergei Dimagin finds the back of the net for the first time this season, and home team leads 1-0 after 20. Early in the second frame, Dmitry Kogorliski keeps the puck in the offensive end, beats Pavel Chernov down low, and he leaves no chance to Agus Masalskis. Chernov nets his fifth of the season, and it's 2-0 Severstal now. Short left of that, we got a fan on the ice? That's not a rare sight at soccer games, but this is hockey. I don't know about you, but this is a first for me. Okay, moving on to the third period. And Lad explode with three goals in less than nine minutes. First, Mitchell Vorobyov beats Sergio Magorilla from the hash marks for his sixth of the season to make it 2-1. Three minutes later, Martin Zatovich scores his sixth of the season as well to tie the game up at twos. That's nice passed by Victor Kamarov there, too. And finally, Anton Shelfin picks up the loose puck, beats Georgi Belousov, gets it back from him in the slot, and sends it in for his ninth of the year. 
Just like that, it's 3-2 Lada. He's just over four minutes left on the clock. Daniil Vovchenko scores his fifth of the year with a nifty wrister to bring it all back to even again. This one is going to shoot out. And final Chernov wins it for the home team. That's the first shootout win in his KHL career and Severstal on their 10-game losing streak. 4-3 Severstal shootout final on this one. And that's it for the LKHL update. We got plenty of games tomorrow, so make sure to tune in. Until next time, my name is Andreas Sashinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you Thursday.